Hi, everyone. Welcome back to my Surat video tutorials. So now we have a merged object. So from today, I will prepare videos to show you the standard pre-processing workflow. The workflow uh, includes four steps of analysis. So the first step is quantity control and the selecting cells for further analysis. The second step is data normalization. The third step is the identification of highly variable features. And the last step is data scaling. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about uh, three commonly used uh, quantity control metrics. They are uh, M features, RNA, N count, RNA, and uh, the percentage of mitochondria genes. So, uh, so uh, current method for single RNA, single cell RNA extraction takes at least six hours from tissue dissociation, single cell drop lead capture, and uh, mRNA extraction. So uh, some tissue are very hard to dissociate. The long-term and uh, vigorous tissue dissociation procedure often result uh, uh, the captured cells are stressed broken or killed. So these cells are low quantity cells. And also, uh, during the step of uh, drop lead capture, the machine can capture uh, empty drop lead, cell double lead or multiple lead. So, uh, the low quantity or empty drop need often have very few genes. So the value of uh, M feature and uh, N count are very, are very low in low quantity cells and uh, empty drop need. On the other hand, cells uh, with double need or multiple need uh, have high value of M feature and uh, N count RNA. And also, the low quantity and the dying cells often have a high percentage of mitochondria genes. So, uh, low quantity cells, empty drop need, double need, and the multiple need. Uh, and also the cells has a high percentage of mitochondria genes will affect uh, our analysis. So we need to filter out uh, this uh, cell. So uh, clear matrix uh, data are stored in the metadata. So we can use the view function to have a look at the metadata. So you can see, we can see the uh, M feature RNA and the N count RNA. Um, so the M count and the M feature um, information was stored in the metadata when we create the object. So the value of uh, N count is normally bigger than M feature. So let's use the range function to have a look the lowest and the highest value of M feature and N count. So uh, you can see in our object, the lowest M feature is 200. 
So you probably remember when we create the object, we selected cells that had more than two hundred gene expression. So the lowest number is two hundred. So and the highest M feature is five thousand five hundred and ninety-seven. For the N count, the lowest number is five hundred and three. The highest number is more than thirty-three thousand. So you probably notice that. And、uh, we don't have the information for the percentage of、uh, mitochondria、uh, genes in the metadata at the moment. So, but we can、um, use the percentage feature set function to obtain、uh, the percentage of mitochondria genes in our object. So we can also store、uh, this information in the column named as percent、um, mt. So let's run this function to obtain the information. So we can、um, view the metadata again. Now you can see we have the、uh, percentage of Mitochondria genes for each cell. So we can use the range function again to look at the lowest and the, the highest、uh, percentage of mitochondria genes. So you can see the lowest is zero, then the highest is more than sixty-three、uh, percent. So certainly we need to ah、uh, get rid of cells with a very high percentage of mitochondria genes for our analysis. Now we have ah、uh, uh, all the information for M feature RNA, N count RNA, and the percentage of met ah、uh, mitochondria genes. Uh, so we can、uh, use the wiring plot function to、uh, have a look at the distribution of KL matrix for all the cells. So we can、uh, run the wiring plot. So let's zoom in the wiring plot. You can see、uh, the distribution of、uh, quality control matrix. So repeat one and repeat two、uh, have better quality of RNA pre preparation than repeat three. So you can see、uh, repeat three not only、uh, has no number. Of In features, it also has high percentage of mitochondria genes. So, uh, in repeat one and repeat two, uh, the in feature are bigger, probably、uh, bigger than five hundred. So, uh, you can see in all three repeats. The majority of M feature is below ah four thousand and above a five hundred, and the N count is below ah twenty thousand, and the percentage of um mitochondria genes is below I would say is ten percent. So we can use this. Parameter to and also the subset function to get rid of low quality cells.
So uh, before we run the subset function, we can have a look at the cell numbers in our ob object. So you can see uh, we have 12,065 samples in our object. So let's run the uh, subset function to get rid of no quantity cells. So uh, we can run the wiring plot again. So let's do mean. So you can see now uh, the M features is uh, between five uh, hundred to four thousand, and the N count are below twenty thousand, and the uh, percentage of mitochondria genes are below uh, ten percent. So if you uh, look at the object again to see how many cells we have now, now you can see we have uh, 11,612 samples. So we use the uh, quantity control uh, matrix, so we get rid of some uh, low quantity cells. So uh, you probably uh, have question, questions about why and how we choose those uh, parameters. So I would say uh, there's no absolute values to set for um, these parameters. So it depends on the quality of your data and the cell uh, population you are interested in. So uh, for example, if you try to find very uh, rare cells in your tissue, so you should keep uh, the highest number to start with the analysis. So, uh, okay, so uh, that's the radio for today. So in my next video, we continue our analysis for the standard pre-processing workflow. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel.